we have a case study for 50 over 67 MV transformer. 50 is the one and rating, 67 is the one F rating. One voltage rating is 172, 13.86.6 kV. And vector group YN, YN0, T1. So the 132 kV winding is YN connected, start connected with neutral. 13.8 kV is start connected and there is a neutral pushing. And the uh, tertiary winding 6.6 kV is delta connected. So when we perform it, the uh, HV to tertiary positive sequence short circuit impedance test, and this by applying three phase voltage with neutral to the HV side of the transformer, or H1, H2, H3, and H0. And we shorting the tertiary winding. So in this case, we will measure the short circuit impedance of the sequence between the HV winding and tertiary winding. We have the measurement here. So between one U and one V, or means H1, H2, we have uh, 390.4, this tab one and tab two uh sorry tab one and then between h2 h3 and between h3 h1 this is the voltage between the phases here is the average of these three values we measure the current so one u 1.22 ampere one v 1.5 ampere one w n 0.02 and there means there is no current in 1W. When we perform it at electrical center tab, tab 11, same, we notice 1U here, 1V here, and 1W, there is no current. Then tab 27, same, and here, very low current or no current. Then we calculate the impedance percentage, and this is the factory percentage, and this is the error between site and factory. The criteria here, as per IEC standard, so the error more than the acceptable limit for the short circuit impedance. This means there is a problem in this transformer. For HV to tertiary zero sequence impedance test, we short the three phases in HV side, the star side, and we connect it to one phase, and the neutral to second phase or to neutral of the source, so we can use Phase to phase source or phase to neutral source as a voltage source or a current source. And tertiary, there is no need to short the tertiary because it is delta connected. We can see here, for example, the star H1, H0, H2, H0, H3, H0, H1, H2, H. Three. Here is H zero. The one third to KV side. Now these three phases will short to together and will give one so one. Give it to line line one here and a neutral or H zero. Take it here and will give the source here. Yes line two or neutral and we have this for the star side uh, means yn or one third to kv side now for the 6.6 .6 kv which is connected in delta and with beta group one d1 so here is y1 y2 means parallel to h1 h0 y2 y3 parallel to h2 h0 
and we have h3 uh, y3 y1 parallel to h3 h0 we have y1 y2 y3 okay so now we apply same voltage for the three phases to neutral this means the the three phases voltage now in in phase if we consider just for explanation i can select a different current a different color for example we have positive negative here of course we applying ac supply but just for polarity point view or half cycle so positive negative here so positive negative positive negative positive negative okay so we have same positive negative here for this two winding h and h1 h0 y1 y2 in phase then h2 h0 will be in phase with y2 y3 then h3 h0 in phase wise y3 y1 so we can see the voltage here induce the voltage in this tertiary plus here with this negative this plus with this negative plus with negative plus with negative we can uh, say that we have three parallel uh, three series voltage source with the impedance of the three winding here so the voltage will be like 3v v v v so we have 3v which will divided by this impedance will make a current in this direction so there is a current in this direction you can say one current here this current this current so the current in uh, hv side will be opposite direction to the tertiary side so this current will be opposite to this current this one uh, current will be here in the opposite direction this current here the opposite will be here this current the opposite will be here so we'll find the currents here in same direction so if we can see this current i so we have three i here and this again back here from neutral point three i so now when we apply 223 for example at tab one the current is 0 0.7 to 7 the impedance is uh, the ohmic impedance per phase 921 ohm the uh, zero sequence impedance percentage this value is the flat value and this is a slight value the arrow will be this value which is more than the acceptable criteria tab 11 same issue tab 27 have the same issue this means the zero sequence impedance failed also and this proves that there is a problem in this transformer now we perform it the winding resistance test and for tertiary winding we find something abnormal in hv and lv there is no any problem in resistance but when we perform it for tertiary winding we find something abnormal here is again y1 y2 y3 so the cable is connected to tertiary winding here is the resistance value between y1 y2 is giving 5.8 milliohm between y2 to y1 to y2 5.8 milliohm y2 y3 5.7 y2 y3 5.7 and between y3 and y1 11.52 so between y1 y3 11.52 we can notice that this value is the summation 
of this tool will give this value. So instead of we have two uh, pass for current, we have one. So this one between, for example, between y3 and y1, and the long one y3, y2, y2, y1, and the current and the resistance will be the equivalent resistance between two branches. This short branch and the long branch, and should be the equivalent is 2 over 3 of anyone, the 3 already have the same resistance. Now we have the resistance is the summation of this one, this resistance, and plus this resistance. This means this branch we can say is not available, not connected. That's why when we measure resistance, it will give this one plus this one. And this means there is a cut here or cut here. That's why this branch is not available. We can see that this pushing here has the starting of this winding, one lead from this winding, and one lead from the end of this winding. And this pushing here, one lead from this winding, and one lead from this winding connected. So one lead, this here or here is not connected to the pushing. That's why this branch resistance is not available. And that's why it's affecting our zero sequence impedance and positive sequence impedance. And after draining the, drain the transformer oil and inspection, make an inspection, we find there is a problem in this branch. We, the manufacturer connected again, distributed, and the results was perfect.